my name is Mark Simmons with j and PC Experts and today I'm making a video for somebody that their Google Chrome isn't working uh, so they're forced to use Internet Explorer but this video can actually be used for any of your web browser problems like some people may be able to get on Google Chrome but not Internet Explorer or uh, Firefox, Safari, any, any of them so we're going to cover the Google Chrome if you pull um, Chrome up and you hit the menu off to the right little lines um, and then you want to go to settings my brain froze for a minute <laughs> okay now on the left we want to click extensions and these are going to have all the extensions that are installed on or add-ons that are on Google Chrome uh, Avast I know that I want um, the Google Voice Search I use that so I keep that Hangouts even though it doesn't work I keep it now I don't have any on here that would be bad um, if you want you can you can just send me a message or an email let me know which ones that you have if you're not sure uh, but usually if I'm ever in doubt I'll just disable it by unchecking it and as you see it's still there but it's turned off and that way it'll tell you whether that's causing a problem or not and if it's not causing a problem you can always enable it uh, anything uh, really in my opinion if it's I would turn off Bing I would turn off AOL, Yahoo, any of those add-ons. And anything that's free coupons. Um, I mean, there, there's so many out there, I can't list them all. But probably your best bet would be just to disable all of them. And then you want to close Firefox, or excuse me, Chrome, and then reopen it and then try to go to a web page and see if it loads uh, more than likely the reason actually I've never seen anybody have that type of a problem that does not have some serious viruses or malware um, so while this may be a temporary fix you need to run scans and I would recommend Avast, A V A S T, Malware Bytes, SpyBot, um, and you want to run them scans one by one. Don't run them at the same time. Um, now, if you want, I'll have links in the comments for those software. You can get it uh, for free. Malware bytes, I'm not sure if they're doing. I think they stopped the free version. It's sometime this month or next month they won't have it free. So if you want to buy malware bytes, it's actually the best one that there is. If you want to purchase it, we actually have a sale running on it. You can get it for $10, and that's for a year subscription. Now, I don't think I have Firefox to show you how to do that but let's pull up Internet Explorer actually while we're doing this video we're going to download Firefox that way I can show you how to do that from Firefox as well so basically if you have a web browser that's not opening there's a reason for it, it, it could just be in the in the settings it could be um, you probably have a lot of toolbars installed okay and why that's why that's downloading this is running a little bit slow because it's um, this is really just a backup laptop and I have Windows updating of course and there's some other stuff running in the background that I need. Okay, we can close out Google Chrome now. And for Internet Explorer, I 
rarely ever use it, but it's, um, let's see if I can remember. Manage add ons, which, there we go. But sometimes, for some reason, with Internet Explorer, if you hit that gear symbol and the page isn't all the way loaded, this won't be lit up like it wasn't, but now it is, so we're going to go to Manage Add ons. Toolbars and extensions. Um, and see, really, I don't have anything here that would be dangerous because um, I don't use I don't use Internet Explorer. I like to be safe. <laughs> now, the search providers, I don't I don't like Bing. Um, they're ran they're actually ran by Microsoft, and they actually don't give you the right search results. Um, and I don't want Yahoo, so I'm going to remove that. <coughs> and hit close. Um, that, I shouldn't have hit close yet. But whenever toolbar is an extension, so you can, um, let me show you how to disable or enable. See, if it's disabled, it'll be enable here. But like if going to enable that now. See how it says disable. If you're having problems with Internet Explorer, just disable um, everything. Search providers, I mine is, is Google. Um, and then accelerators, that's really anything in here you're not going to need. So you could remove them if you wanted to. Don't need any tracking protection. Um, now, if you want to, instead of typing, like if you have a doubt about what to disable or delete or whatever, you can easily, uh, from your keyboard, type, hold down CTRL, the control button, hold that down and look for the button that says PRT space SC, SCR, that's print screen, Hit con hold control and hit print screen, which I just did, you won't really see anything. But what you can do is you can go to paint, and it'll, um, no, I don't want to save screenshots to Dropbox. You can if you had Dropbox installed, you, that would be an easy way to do it, and then you could just send me the link. But from, once paint loads, hold Control V. didn't it work? Control V. Maybe because of the Dropbox. Let's try that again. Control, print screen, go to paint, Control V. There we go. Okay. And as you see, there's, there's, the, there's, the, there's the page that I was on. Now if you do file, save, And then we're just going to save it to the desktop so it's easy to be found. You can call it whatever you want and hit save. And then you can email that to me um, by doing an attachment. And that's Internet Explorer. Now I don't want Firefox as the default. Now I used to always use Firefox and then I started getting more, um, what was the word? more familiar with Google Chrome and it's not slow like it used to be when it first came out but I like Google Chrome because if I bookmark something on this computer and then I go to the office I still have that same bookmark as long as I'm signed in um, let's see what else do we need to cover while we're waiting on that You can also run what's called CCleaner. Um, now, if you're one of our customers, then you have CCleaner on your computer because there's not, I don't, it doesn't matter what the computer comes in for. I um, will put CCleaner on there because it has what, it um, can repair what's called the registry. A lot of times you'll get with viruses or you know, general use, just over time you get registry errors and every so often those need to be fixed. 
um, and you can do that through CCleaner which I have that on a few different videos I believe um, no we're not going to import nothing because I don't I don't really use Firefox but at least I'll have it here as a backup but basically um, See if we have C cleaner while we're waiting for Firefox. No, I don't have C cleaner on here, but it, it's pretty easy. You can just look through my YouTube channel and it's on there. And I'll be making a um, new tune up video for 2014, which will also cover the sea cleaner so just subscribe to our channel and then you'll be updated when we when we get it okay now for Firefox this is the default view of it um, which I myself I don't like I like to have the command at the top so on it, options menu bar we want to turn that on and then if you go to tools yeah tools and then add-ons you just click on extensions that'll show you what extensions you have and um, appearance if you have any themes and plug-ons plug-ins I mean just uh, you can click on that and then you can never activate ask to activate blah 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 um, and then different services that are running and that's that's it as far as the web browsers Let's close tabs now we're going to pull up malware bytes sometimes malware bytes and I haven't figured out why but sometimes when it updates then it doesn't want to open um, and in that case I just reinstall or if it's running down in the taskbar you can you can right click it and then update and of course that's going to take a while to load um, now if you have a vast beings that you have a browser that's not loading properly I would say that you're heavily infected so the, your best option to do first after you disable everything and see if that fixes your problem is to right click it depending on what version you have and open a vast user interface see this is the new malware bytes here um, and this is the paid I've got the pro version which is nice the pro version actually blocks stuff before it happens a lot like a vast uh, let's see we want to go to scan and this is very important you got the quick scan and you got the full scan or you can scan a flash drive CD whatever but what we're doing is in this video I'm just going to show you how to do a boot time scan and you see how it's it's not scheduled go to settings and it's going to scan everything I change this to high uh, scan for potentially unwanted programs that would be like spyware and um, programs that could be dangerous unpack archive files which is important and when a threat is found apply this apply the following action me myself I do move to chest uh, for some reason it do <coughs> doesn't always work but this way it's kinda like automatic so we hit OK and then we're going to click on start which I'm not doing it now because then it's going to restart the computer um, well we can show you what it's going to look like hit start it's going to say the boot time scan will run on the next system restart do you want to restart the computer now we're going to hit no but in your case hit yes um, and then when basically what that does is it if there's 
anything viruses or malware that's hiding behind windows that's going to find it because what happens is your computer boots up goes to boot up normally and then you'll notice you'll see windows loading like it normally would and then it goes to a command screen like the old DOS screen and it's going to scan everything uh, so basically um, to put it simply it tricks the malware into thinking that um, Windows hasn't loaded yet so it's detectable even the stuff that wouldn't normally be detectable uh, but after you run that um, you know you can send me what what is in your uh, the virus chest let's go um, I shouldn't have closed that out sorry about that let's pull that back up this is the new this is the new version of Avast so let's see if we can find it um, oh there it is um, the quarantine virus chest and as you see there was some stuff um, that my computer had found before or this this computer um, and it'll show up here. There used to be a way you could, you could print this. Then again, you you could um, you could just do a screenshot. But if you do a screenshot, if you could do me a favor and slide that over, and then drag and slide this over um, that way we're getting the whole information the name location blah 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 and then you can once you have once we have that you can clear that out uh, now if you have malware bytes um, especially the new one which is awesome you can set up a scheduler to where it automatically schedules a scan so you never have to manually scan it again but you would click scan now and it's going to check for updates and then scan but we're going to cancel the scan because I don't have anything on here and then of course there's um, you know there's SpyBot which you can download free from their website I'm trying to think what it was safe Safer networking dot org, I believe. Yep, there it is. Spy bot search and destroy. You don't have to go through all this stuff here, just go to download. And you just need the free version. This one down here where it says other downloads, just click that. of course you want to donate to them save to the desktop um, now it shouldn't take too long to download that but the first step with spybot is you want to immunize you need to close out all your browsers and you can click immunize it'll check and then you click on immunize now and it'll um, immunize that's not removing any viruses or anything basically that's just changing your security settings of your browsers to make it more secure and you're not as vulnerable then you're going to click on search and destroy and then it, that's the scan page and you'll click on check for problems which this again I have videos on I have extensive videos on spybot and avast and I'll be making new ones especially with the new malware bytes that came out and they change things by not offering a free version anymore which let's see you may be able to get a trial let's see and that's malware bytes org and you will need internet to install spybot um, oh yeah okay they still do have the free version
had got an email stating that they were going to stop that. But maybe not yet, or maybe they maybe they changed it. Or it could just be a trial. It's More than likely, it's probably just a trial. But quick finish on SpyBot, and it should automatically load. Another thing, too, is if you're Vista, Windows 7, and I think Windows 8, you'll actually have to close SpyBot back out. I'm pretty sure but we'll find out. It used to be you had to right click and run as administrator. Usually that's just how I open it. I always it's have it. Because what you have to you have to give SpyBot administrative rights. Just next, next, next. Start using. Now, this is what I was telling you about. First you want to go to immunize. That's that's your best best thing, which I haven't ran SpyBot on this as you see, because where it says unprotected there's numbers in the red that's the unprotected settings and files and this won't take long to actually scan um, to see how vulnerable you are but it will take once you click on immunize that will take a long time I've even I've seen it take up to an hour hour and a half depending on your system and then once that's done, you're going to click on search and destroy and then check for problems. And the thing with SpyBot is what confuses a lot of people is once you do that immunization, that's done. But I would recommend doing that every time your Windows updates. And then um, when the search and destroy, when you check for problems, it's going to take a long time to run that scan. And then when it does, it's going to find things and you have to make sure all those are checked and then um, I believe it'll be labeled um, remove problems or fix problems fix problems I think it is and it'll take a while you'll see a, a green um, just like this green bar here you'll see one down at the bottom you just let that finish all the way and then it'll tell you when it's finished that you'll need to re restart to allow it to finish the scans on the ones that it couldn't remove and then you click reboot or yes or whatever it is and it'll load just like with a vast it'll it'll load like as if it's going in the windows and then all you'll do you'll see this a black you'll see a black screen right here and it'll only have the spybot window then it's working properly it's scanning now keep in mind that scan will take a long time but it, it's thorough but between now between a vast Malware bytes and SpyBot, that should get you totally clean. And once you determine which add-ons on your browser is causing the problem, just get rid of them. And we're not going to sit here through the whole thing because <laughs> it looks like it could be a long time. Um, but I'm going to let that run in the background. And... Um, For any of the um, screenshots or anything that you need to send me, there will be a link at the bottom of um, the information on the video. You'll click on Show More, and it'll have the links to Avast, the links to Malwarebytes, the links to SpyBot, but also it'll have the link to my support ticket system to where you can just send me the... Um, screenshots or information that you need you need help with I hope this has been helpful to you and as always if you need um, if you need any help uh, you can email me or you can contact me through our support t ticket system which is support dot wv dot com and if you need a how-to video, just let us know and we'll make one for you. Have a great day.